A cottage garden is a place of fantasy and magic. This English-inspired style is built on a foundation of winding paths, casual planting, and a rainbow of colors. As a style, the country cottage garden is adaptable to any climate and seems to be here to stay. In spite of the charming untidiness that is so characteristic of a cottage garden, this look is not achieved without some forethought and planning. Our list of eight plants is a great place to start, and it includes everything from flowering shrubs to ground cover. Number one, pink paper daisy. The pink paper daisy is a staple of any well-kept cottage garden because of its ease of cultivation. These pretty pink blooms are just as happy in a pot as they are in the ground and will flower for up to 14 weeks at a time with proper care. When they are ready for picking, place them in a pretty vase or dry them by hanging them upside down in a dark, well-ventilated room. Plants hardy in U.S. day zones 9 through 11. Number two, yellow button. With their round form and fluffy petals, these splashes of color are as endearing as buttons. Yellow buttons are great as a ground cover or in pots because they are hardy in a variety of conditions and easy to grow. Water heavily when it's hot out and plant them in full sun or partial shade. Plants in zones eight through 11 have a high chance of survival. Number three, Swan River Daisy. The Swan River Daisy has a delicate touch of color that is soft, textured, and bright. Flowers of this variety are available in a wide range of colors, including blue, violet, yellow, and white, making them a great fit for a variety of decors. These lovely plants should be placed in a location with full or partial sun, either in pots or at the front of raised garden beds. You can plant these flowers anywhere in U.S. Day hardiness zones 9 to 11. Number four, Iceland Poppy. The Iceland Poppy is a butterfly magnet that also works well with other winter annuals to create a stunning setting for spring blooming bowls. To get the most out of them, plant them in drifts and intersperse them with pansies and violas of contrasting or complementary colors. They thrive when combined with other annuals in containers and are at home in meadows and cottage gardens. Plants that thrive in U.S. Day hardiness zones two through eight. Number five, sweet pea. The sweet pea is a popular flower for cottage gardens due to its lovely fragrance and showy flowers. The resulting pillar of fragrant, summertime color in beds and borders is achieved by training the plants to grow around a wigwam-shaped plant support. If you pick them frequently enough, they'll keep producing more and more fruit. Sweet peas come in two different varieties. Hardy sweet peas can be planted in USDA plant hardiness zones two through 11. Number six, lavender. Lavender, a member of the mint family, features sage colored leaves and deep to light purple flowers that bloom between the middle of spring and the beginning of summer. Growing lavender is easiest in sunny locations with good drainage. One thing on which everyone can agree is that a cottage garden would benefit greatly from the addition of lavender. It can thrive in USDA plant hardiness zones five through nine. Number seven, roses. When envisioning your ideal backyard, it's hard to look past roses, the most stereotypical flower of the cottage garden. Roses soft, full flowers and deliciously heady scent make them a popular flower choice. Plant in a location where it will receive at least six hours of sunlight per day, in soil that drains well, and provide consistent watering. It can thrive in USDA plant hardiness zones 10 through 11. Number eight, delphinium. Blooming at the end of a long stem, delphiniums can reach up to 1.8 meters in height like their snapdragon cousins. 
Colors of delphiniums range from white to blue, violet, and deep purple, and they bloom year after year. Put your plants in direct sunlight and water them frequently. Delphiniums are poisonous, so make sure to keep them away from any pets or young children. Tolerant of temperatures in zones three to seven. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.